So you're thinking this isn't going to be enough damage? Well, yeah. let's try. I don't, well, I don't... <laughs> oh, it's enough damage back here. <laughs> well, what do you think? <laughs> I think we'll be fine. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <That> look... <laughs> G'day guys, it's me Zinkberg and welcome back to the Craftworks SMP. I am standing right in front of Doom Raider. I showed a quick preview of this last week. This is a game that MC Oda and myself have built and it is fantastic and it has finally gone live. Um, we've been building this over the last couple of months and we've been keeping our cards very close to our chess. Um, it went live in the first day we got to almost a hundred deaths for people on the server. I'll explain more about how the game works in a minute, uh, but for now let's just take a look around and have a look at some of the stuff we've done. For starters, around the outside of the Illager, is he a Illager or a Pillager? I can never remember. <laughs> Whatever he is, you know what he is. Around there we've thrown some wooden things around. The idea was we wanted to really get the idea that it was like a cheap carnival sort of ride or a game or something like that. So we threw up some scaffolding and things like that around the edges just to make it look, yeah, like that carnival sort of thing. Let's take a look inside. So, if we head down here through the mouth hole, <laughs> we end up in this area here. Uh, this has got this beautiful uh, starry sort of sky looking ceiling on it with these great light fixtures. I really like the way that they came out in the corners there. Um, we've got the deep slate tiles around the edge. We've got the netherite bricks. We've got some high contrast carpet and things. Even a little gift shop that's over there. I'll show you that in a second. Um, and the copper up around the edge. Sort of all these colours that sort of go together but not really. Maybe in the 80s they would have looked better than they do now. Um, but yeah, everything really came out looking great. I love the, the atmosphere in this place. It just feels so good. One of my favourite parts of this room is the gift shop over here. Uh, we have even implemented cinema pricing on our goods over here. So that's good. Uh, we've got magma blocks for sale here for 16 diamonds. Remember the pain on your footsies. Uh, we have obsidian for 24 diamonds, a memento from your favorite doom room. And in the corner over here, packed ice for 18 diamonds. Brr, it's cold just like the real thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then we've got a puffer fish over here. I know that's one of the favorites of the crafters. And we've got slime blocks and dispensers. You know, just things on the shelf here that, that look like part of the game. Um, we've put shelves and places to rest and stuff like that around the room. Oh, someone's left their gear in there. That's good. Oh, and I've left my gear in there. So that's good too. Uh, I wonder if we could steal anything in here. That'd be awesome. I wonder whose that is. Probably jittery bugs. Um, you can't sleep on that one because apparently... The uh, gentleman over there is classed as a mob, even though he's only a statue, and uh, it won't let you sleep, but that's fine. Set your respawn, and then you are ready to go. Over here, we have a fantastic scoreboard that Oda set up. This is pretty well automatic, um, certainly for keeping the points anyway. Uh, so you push the button on the left, and then you score points automatically as you go through the points doors. Uh, when you are ready to start, you have it with the first light on. Then if you get one point, it says a baby panda could do better than this. Uh, you have two points, not bad. I see you found your jump key. Three points, very good. You're getting the hang of this. Four points, excellent. We didn't think you'd get this far. Five points, oh so close. You got this, try again. Six points, if you got six points, you did something wrong, try again. And seven points, congratulations, you are a master raider. No one has yet made it to seven points. A couple of us had made it to five points. I think Jitterybug and Lane and myself have made it to five so far. So yeah, this room is just looking awesome. I love this room so much and I will explain how the game works now. 
The game principle itself is very easy. It is simply, you must score as many points as possible. Behind me are a heap of rooms. Some of them give you points, some don't give you points. Some of them do a little bit of damage to you, some do a lot of damage to you. A lot of them are there just to mess with your head a bit. Some are there to end your existence as you go. So as I said, we're over 100 deaths on the server at the moment, um, combined from all the people who have run it. It is very complicated. I think the best way to show you some of what's going on is to run it myself. I don't know how I'll go. Some of these rooms absolutely terrify me. I am going to go slow and cautious because I do want to try and get through as much of it as I can. Let's just have a look and see where we get to. Okay, so we are going to have a run of this game. I have done many runs of this game. I do have a slight advantage. The advantage is that Oda and I built the thing, so we know which way to go. However, if you have run the game a couple of times, you know which way to go too. So that advantage is gone. There, there are a couple of very little things, um, little tricks that you can do in this game that I don't want to show. So I will have to cut just a couple of little things from that, but we'll see how we go as we go. So I won't show choices because there are people that haven't played and I won't show any tips or tricks that, that are key to the gameplay, um, but it will be a single run. So let's, let's just have a go. So the first thing we have to encounter is the berry maze, right? And it's not a hard maze. There's one way through this. The trick is though, Health is very important in this game because once you die, you're done. So you don't want to die. And although berries don't do a lot of damage, they do enough if you get hit a couple of times for you to lose your saturation and for you to, uh, that makes it a little bit difficult um, as, you, as you head on. So this little bit here is a bit tricky. Very easy to cop one. We'll go that way and okay through the berry maze without any damage so well here we <laughs> here we have a choice room you get to choose one way or the other uh, one one room is more correct a path than the other so I will just skip this little bit and see you in the next bit okay so we have a point this room here is full of lava this is my least favorite room in this place because i really struggle with parkour um, there is a trick to this room i won't show you where the trick is but i will show you what the trick is so see you in a second okay we have activated the trick and now we will make the attempt I, as i said i absolutely hate this first jump is easy that's an easy one second jump is also not too bad oh Third jump is a bit more painful. <laughs> so we line it up and yes, okay. Okay, and this one's just a bit far, but we'll try and get there in one go. No. All right, so we lost three hearts. That's not too bad. We've made it through the next points. We have a choice to make here. I'm not gonna give away which way the choice is. Okay, and we've made it into this section here. Oh, someone has cleared the uh, stalagmite. That stalagmite gets very big. Now, in this room are a lot of people's least favorite things in this game. There is a trick to this, and I'm going to show it because a lot of people struggle with this. The trick is you don't have to do it in one go. If you can see all the, see how they, they like to swim up and try and grab you the little puffer fish there. If you see them line up, then come back up. Take a breath, take a second. It's okay, you have time. Um, so we're going to just wait a second. Hopefully the one that's under there is gonna be a problem, but we'll see if we can get down there anyway. I could very well die here, we'll see how we go. There he is, look at him, sneaky little guy. All right. Let's get right over to the side here and through. And it looks like we're good, we got through. Okay, and ouch. Okay, so we try not to do that. Okay, next room is, a, this is a point door. And as soon as we go through, we're into another little maze. Okay. Now this one's just like the berry one, but it's obviously 
lava. And each one of these blocks is a lava source block. Um, it's not it's not too bad, except if you do that, <laughs> if you lose your space a little bit, um, and also if you if you do manage to catch it, um, if you do manage to catch the side of it and touch it, then you're on fire. You've got no gear on. You've got no armor or anything to protect you. So it's pretty painful. So let's. Uh, Let's see how we go through here, see if we can get this done. I'm, go I'm going to take this very easy. Um, it's a bit it's a bit terrible to see, but you can see it. Like So the room is quite pretty and everything. Um, I, I am taking it very easy, but I am trying. Okay, looks like we've made it. Now we do have uh, this little bit to go, so you need to jump over this bit here. You can see there's a water column in the side there. So if you don't make it, you can quickly jump into that. Let's just go for it. All right, we made it. All right, so to another point store. Here we go. We go through here. All right, into the snow room. Now, there are a couple of tricks in here, and basically I'm just going to run it smoothly, um, or as smoothly as I can. Um, but, but yeah, it's not, it's not too bad. This one isn't too hard. You can take a bit of damage, and you certainly can die in here. So you've got to be careful. This is the bit that's difficult for people. Um, and yeah, this gives away the the pathway through. Oh, we just took oh, a little bit of damage, a little bit of damage, a little bit in here sometimes, but there we go. We made it through. Okay. That was easy. Um, as you can imagine, that's a lot more difficult than it looks like there is far more to that maze, but just because I know it, that makes it a bit easy. Okay. And this bit here, this was, um, this is just a little. Just a little trick, sometimes you take one on the edge there if you don't make it through. So we're up to a point door. So this is point door, uh, this is for point number five. And we're through here. Now here we have a choice to make. Again, I know the choice. So I will skip the choice and I'll show you in a second. And we're through that. Now, <sighs> this is the room we're talking about. Do we need to... Uh, to tune this room a little bit because this room is extremely hard but let's give it a go and see how far into it we can get okay we're gonna run through we've copped one okay one hit Whew. now i know that this bit here is safe we can get through this one i've only got three hearts left and i think they do three hearts of damage so we're in trouble if we get hit again <laughs> This is really difficult, particularly this next bit. I have a feeling I'm about to die. Um, we'll, we'll give it a go and we'll see how we see how we go through this part of the challenge. Ah, there's no easy way to do this. We're just going to go. Yep. Okay, so Zinkberg was shot by It's Getting Hoth in here. A little bit of a Star Wars joke. So we're not... We're not far from the end of this room, like we're, we're within range. But nonetheless, we got another, another run of a clear run of five. That's the basis of the game. Uh, let me show you over some of the things that are in this game. And that is almost every single room in this place. Uh, there is one that I've left out there for for reasons. Um, keep your eye on the other crafters' videos. They should have some runs coming soon and you should see plenty of fun and frustration in those. This isn't all I've been doing over the last couple of weeks. Take a look at this quick time lapse.
and here it is finished. <laughs> Just like that, it was that easy. It was hours and hours and hours of work. Not necessarily because it was something difficult to build, but because it was a collaboration, right? So we were building together and sort of working together on how we get this thing finished. Um, the whole idea of this tower is that it's going to take part in a thing called a poorly told tale. Uh, we will be putting together a, a sort of a little backyard theatre type thing and this tower is going to take place in a video um, that should be loads of fun so we're looking forward to that I'll just put the shaders on okay I do love me some shaders um, I think you'll agree it looks really beautiful like it's a good looking little tower it's got some little vines and things on it and little patches and stuff it's meant to look like it was sort of thrown together and, and it just, it's got a real look to it, a real vibe to it. And it fits the area really well too. I've, I've really enjoyed building this one. And, and Oda was just fantastic during it. We sort of threw things off each other and we, we learnt from each other a lot. Um, one big thing, so I haven't done a lot of collaborations in this game. Um, and there are a couple of ways to do collaborations. I feel one of them is to be the control freak and just take over. <laughs> And I'm laughing for a reason, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, and the other is to collaborate together. I'll show you what I'm laughing at, which is this little bridge over here. Um, Empress Little Bit was busy working over here one day, and I came over and stood behind her and went, oh, um, oh, like that, making lots of groaning noises and things at her while she was building. <laughs> and eventually ended up taking over. Um, what we ended up with was a really pretty little bridge and, and I think it turned out really good. And it is a collaboration. It is something that we both worked on. But I certainly did overtake a little bit of it and um, maybe throw my weight around a little bit on it. Um, which, funnily enough, is not the first time I did this with a bridge. So I will show you the other bridge in a minute. But with the tower over there, so because Oda and I were talking about what do you want to do here, what sort of, um, you know, what sort of height do we want, what sort of materials do we want, do we want to do this and that, that takes a lot longer. Um, and and it, it was a really a really therapeutic thing to do and as I say I think I think we both learned a lot from it I learned a lot from the way Oda does things and he learned how to keep a very messy inventory like I do and and now he does it all the time I'll show you the other bridge over here so I think I've told this story before but I'll tell it again anyway so this bridge here on the first day of the server Oda said that he had built a bridge and uh, that was sort of that's my base over there and um, I uh, I kind of came over to have a look at it and decided that it didn't look the way I wanted it to look. And I reprimanded Oda in front of a whole group of people and said, no, we're not doing that here. <laughs> we're going to make this bridge a little bit better than that. So even though the bridge had nothing to do with me, uh, <laughs> I came over and, and took over again. I guess the moral to the story is don't build bridges with <laughs> Zinkberg. Um, uh, but Oda did all of this sort of pillaring and stuff and then eventually blended it in with this beautiful rockery he's done around here. It looks so great. This whole harbour area just looks so good and I, I love this bit so much. Um, I said so a lot there. Why is my character looking off into the distance? Look, you see, what, what is over there? What? What? <laughs> anyway, I think that might do us for this week. I think that that pretty well covers everything. Uh, guys, I really appreciate uh, you guys watching my video and taking the time out to comment and support me in what I do every week. It means the world to me. You guys really do mean the world to me. And uh, I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Um, next week, I think we're going back to Effendale. Effendale? Effendor. Effendale. I've got to get that name right at some point. Effendale. Uh, we've got a lot of work I've been doing in my single player world. We might even be able to snag a little visitor over there. We'll see how we go. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Have a great week, guys. Uh, I, I, yeah, I can't wait to see you next week. Have a good one. Love you all to death. See you later and bye.